and on the wall he goes because thin men are absolute BS. Okay. Remember, we will be watching. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say assault, which is a shame because I find myself in need of a new engineer. I mean, I suppose you could also do engineer with those stats, which I guess is what you're going to do. Have fun. Eh, you have good enough will to at least try to be a support engineer. And your stats are far worse than the one that we lost, because of course... Waiting for workshops, need to launch the satellites before the council report, and there's a covert operation. That about covers it. Yep, take the corpses. We'll take the scientists. Contact detected. Oh my lord, another destroyer? This is nuts! Like, I'm not, I'm honestly not even sure what I'm supposed to, to do to avoid this situation. Like, I'll fully admit, the last time we lost a satellite, there are things I could have done differently that probably could have prevented it, or at least put us in a better situation where we might have avoided it. But this time it's like, I've been, I'm trying to be selective about which UFOs we go after. I, like, for example, that's why I allowed that one scout to land so we could assault it on the ground. But it is sending destroyers at us. And I am rushing, rushing for lasers and aerospace concepts. Like, I took some time to go do some interrogations, which I think actually has applied some credit with to some of the projects we're doing, so... It's not like that was wasted time. I'm honestly not sure what we're supposed to have done to avoid this. Because there's no way that one interceptor is going to do anything against a destroyer. I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to lose another satellite now. There is nothing I can do, game. Okay, somehow it didn't take the satellite out. And now... I think we're still just hoping that that scout lands, because... we might take it out with midnight? But... Let's do the thing where we just watch it to see if it seems like it freezes over a spot for a bit. Looks like it actually is trying to land because you can see that it stopped moving. Contact so we're gonna have to go after it landed. And so might be able to do a sniper, might not. We'll see.
we need to try to get the outsider if we can. So there, have an arc thrower. Touching down. France is sending an urgent mission request. It looks like the UFO landed out in the boonies. We need to secure the surrounding area and eliminate any hostiles before they threaten the local population. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. They don't have eggs. I'm on the move. Mid. On my way. Okay, where am I putting the sniper? <sighs> Probably up here eventually. Me muevo a la posición. It appears the aliens have outfitted oh. With some form of mechanized body armor. This was likely an effort to improve their combat power. We should exercise caution. Oh my. We do have heat ammo on Sylvia, so we've got that working for us. We also need to try to get that drone insectoid out because they can actually provide pretty powerful. The drone can repair the big mech toid and the sectoid can put a powerful shield around it via mind merge. So we need to get rid of them. Move our scout up. Commander. I'm on the move. smoke grenade goes any better for us this time. Should, because we can actually get everyone in the dang thing. Oh, I knew that. Let's see if we can get thrown out. Of course not. I see you, Commander. <gasps> Okay. 
weapon. Oh, there are two sectoids. Wonderful. Okay, hopefully we get a grenade or something in there. Okay, they're gonna mind merge each other instead of the mechtoid. I'm not gonna argue. Oh god, floaters too. Okay, at least some of the overwatch is working. Unfortunately, that gets rid of the potential third shot we could have had with rapid reaction on the mechtoid. But we at least hit one of them. And it can do two shots if it doesn't move. Wonderful. We need to keep smoke up at all times until that's dealt with. Of course you don't have a shot on the mechtoid yet. I'm gonna need to move you. Is anything overwatching? The floater in the back. Okay. You have dead eye. I'm gonna try to take that floater out so that we can move. Thank you. Okay, and you're not the one suppressed. I believe it's the medic that's suppressed. So, you're gonna come up here into full cover. And you are going to shoot at the mechtoid with heat ammo. Thank you. Don't think anything against us has grenades right now so we can keep everyone close together and keep throwing smoke over them. And we're gonna try to take that drone out before it can repair the mech toyed. Don't know that it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Okay, engineer's gonna creep closer. And the engineer is going to throw more smoke down to make sure that that all stays up and that it's covering everyone. <laughs> okay, got the drone out. That spot should still have smoke on it. Gonna check. Yep. We are going to attempt to get that sectoid. No such luck. Medic is going to reload their gun. Yes, I am worried about that floater flanking us. to get that floater out. So that's sectoid. Just just running right in next to us, so I mean And there's the mind merge on the mechtoid. We're just gonna have to chuck a grenade at that thing. Oh it has an area suppression already This is very, very, very ridiculously bad. Oh. We are boned. No ifs, no ands, no buts. We're done. Hey, Scout. You need to try to move to break these suppressions. It's probably gonna kill you. But you're the only one that even has a chance. So off you go. Hang reflexes. Okay, that works. Okay. 
Need to take this floater out. Good. Unfortunately, can't get close enough to the floaters to just start doing shotgun shots on them. Could come back here and take a free shot at the sectoid. I'm not sure what else I would have the shotgunner do after that. Maybe a shot at the mechtoid or something, but... Maybe just reload your gun. Okay. Engineer, I'm not entirely certain if flashbangs work on mechtoids. Gonna be honest. Obviously, I'm going to have you move. I'm just checking range. So from here might work. Look out! Gonna throw a grenade down there. It's gonna be a regular one. I'm trying to just take that little sectoid out because if we don't get that shield off of the mectoid. Okay. I was hoping it would at least take some of the rocks out that it was hiding behind, but of course not. And our medic is suppressed, and I don't think I have any good way to break it. Honestly, maybe I should have used a grenade on that. I could maybe suppress them right back, which would reduce their chance to hit with the suppression shot. Which is about my only idea at this point. Voy hacia ese lugar. We're gonna have the infantry try to break it. It does count as reaction fire, so we're gonna have her sprint. 45%. Could have the medic try to stabilize her, but we've got so many other things happening right now, it really can't be a priority. Go on to Overwatch because she's got rapid reaction. It'll theoretically give her more shots. Sniper is going to fall way back. We better hope we don't run into anything else or we're really toast. So I should probably fall back towards a spot that I've already seen. Star suppression also hit. Damaged one of the floaters. Fifty two percent from that range? Jeez. And there's more stuff moving around. Might be able to get a grenade, I don't know. And nope, nope, I'm pretty sure that was our engineer. We need to run. Honestly, I'm getting that feeling of creeping dread that it tells me I've probably lost the campaign. 
I'm not sure how long I want to even ride this out because I'm I, I'm just I'm getting that feeling that we're already done. <sighs> Which I hate. It's like I don't know why. I cannot there there's always this point around month four of the game where it's like the difficulty spikes up. And I either somehow find a way to ride it out and then end up like actually getting some equipment and things just kind of snowball and I'm fine. Or more often something like this happens where it's like I've taken so many losses that even if I can push through it and recover, I just don't want to. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have these guys retreat. I honestly do not know. This is going to be a sprint for the evac zone and you make it out or you don't. We're, we're out. We're done. Uh, you're being suppressed, so you're probably dead, but your only chance is to try. Same boat, but try. Dead. I really hope panicking doesn't stop you from evacuating. I'm not walking back from this. I don't think we can. I honest to God don't think we can. If we're getting that outmatched, we're still weeks out from having new equipment. I think I was just too slow on getting new equipment. And I, the planes are just, they've been torn a new one. Sorry to end this on such a downer. Sorry if I've also just been kind of angry at it and this hasn't been the most fun thing to listen to. But I will definitely come back to Long War at some point. I'm going to beat this on the channel. See you guys next time.